What's up YouTube? Uh, just an update on the aquarium. Been running probably about two months now. Uh, it's getting there. Bought some new additions today. A um, white goby and a pulsing exina or exinia. I can't really pronounce it. I'm not not too sure how to pronounce it. But um, I'll walk you through the tank and bits and pieces that we've changed. Um, as you can see from the offset, black background looking much better than that old blue with coral um, background. So happy with that. Um, changed the aquascape a little bit. Got rid of some smaller, smaller rocks. It was just a trap for uneaten foods and bits and pieces. So obviously we want to keep it nice and uh, nice and free flowing in there. Um, We've got coralline algae growth. Um, you can see it just in the video. Um, I'll move you up closer. It's on the skimmer there. Um, you can well, you can see it up against the sides of the glass. I've kept the. I want to hopefully aim to get the sides of the tank with coralline algae and the back, and leave the front. Obviously, that's my aim. But it's growing well. Clownfish are doing fine. Um, as you can see, out and about, uh, they're tank bred clowns. I've heard bad things about tank bred clowns that they can be pretty boring and stuff, but these are pretty non stop all day, every day, looking for food and picking at the rock. So, if I move you into the tank, hopefully, down, down here under the light, you might be able to see him, a little goby with his big mouth. And he's shifting the sand there, showing off to you now. Um, try and zoom in a little bit more. There you go. He's in there, happy, working away already. He's pretty big. I uh, don't really know his age. Um, this, uh, on this piece of rock here, it, it come on the rock. Uh, it seems to be doing fine where it is. I moved it into the middle, just as like a centrepiece for now. Um, and there's a starfish there, I don't know if you can see it. Try and zoom in on it. And some other little bits. Um, the anemone crab, he went round the back of the rocks and I can't find him anywhere. Um, so I'm assuming that he didn't make it, which is pretty sad. Um, but I'll live with it. Um, some empty shells there for the hermits as they've been battling for uh, other shells. It's a, it's coming along. Uh, I'm still learning every day, and I thought I'd buy my first coral frag today, along with a goby. And um, see, I mean, it was only twelve pounds. And as you can see, I move you in. It's closed at the moment. It's not pulsating. I think it might have been transit. I've acclimated it for an hour under the blue light and I've turned it on. Uh, we've got some extension. Um, it's got quite a few heads. Um, really colourful in the shot. Hopefully it, it does well. I've stuck it there for now. Um, so there's not a lot of flow there. And see if it see if it opens up. I mean, for £12, I'm just using this as my trial, trial kind of coral hopefully um, I can look after it maintain it and move on to bigger and better things some hard corals and stuff um, the hermits are in there they're just lazy during the day they go mad when I feed the tank uh, currently feeding the tank um, let me just look down here um, some marine flake frostbite. It's supposed to be new. Um, but yeah, um, I've only been feeding it for a couple of days as I've been feeding frozen food to the uh, clownfish, um, which I, I, I should have got flake food about a week ago, but I've been feeding them for about two weeks on frozen and I've been saturating it in. Let me just grab the bottle. Been saturating it in 
multivitamins and uh, yeah they seem to enjoy it um, I had a couple of spouts of Aptasia on the rock I had a couple, three four heads of it it was pretty big I didn't really know what it was until I got a few answers off the uh, forum that I go on and they recommended um, Joe's Juice which is down there um, and I injected the mouths of the Aptasia they died almost instantly and I'd done that before a water change and then I was able to um, hoover out the remainers of the Aptasia and yeah they're gone they were it was it was so quick that they didn't even have time to think and spawn because what they do is I've been told is when they get stressed they spawn and then you end up with loads all over your tank and so far so good I, I managed to kill four heads um, I haven't really seen any more keep an eye out if I take you up to the power head up here you can see the Coraline Ivy on the back but this is where it really stands out against the black uh, sign of a nice healthy tank and like I say people it's my first tank um, I'm doing water changes once a week I'm doing 10% water changes once a week strictly RO water um, I'm using the instant ocean sand as you can see down there uh, I'm not using milk you know, although it looks like I'm using milk I'm not using milk um, I've got an external Flerval 206 filter I change the carpet in that once every six weeks it's what I've been told to do um, uh, and I changed that last week so the, yeah, so the tank's been running seven seven weeks um, so I, I, it's, it's doing pretty well in that short amount of time I know it's only a small tank um, but everyone seems to compliment me on my first attempt obviously it's an ex uh, internal protein skimmer there and that just pulls loads of gunk out it does really well when it first started I was a bit dubious about it and it weren't really doing a lot but now it's just keeping up um, obviously Flirt of C powerhead there I've been doing loads of reviews on my LED lighting again that's Flerval C and I keep finding really good um, reviews about it and what corals to keep like I say this is my trial coral what I've got today um, it's been currently under that light for around 10 minutes now 10-15 minutes and it has it does look better than what it did a minute ago uh, we're starting to they're starting to open up um, starting to find their feet so hopefully fingers crossed it goes well um, obviously you can see the sand bed it's a little bit dirty over here it's a little bit cleaner but that's only because of this dude I'm going to call him Cheeks because of his big cheeks but that's what I need I mean you can see where the sand is is uh, hard in some places and he's just moving that around and uh, he don't care I was going to get a blue cheek goby but uh, I like the look of this one better and the blue cheek gobies I've been told run out of food really quick because they're non-stop eaters and uh, this one will this goby here will just plough along and do what he needs to do sorry about the video again still haven't got that HD camera so iPhone it is but just before I give you an update for anyone who's actually watching my videos um, subscribe I've got other videos on here of my trials with stuff and how I've done it and where I've got it from or whatever um, yeah and it's going well I mean I still haven't changed out my heaters but they were brand new when I bought them so I, I, I replaced them towards six months to a year but they're boy -o. don't really trust, trust the Chinese I'm not um, I didn't pay a lot of money for them I, I would rather keep to a brand that I know that I get a guarantee with um, and someone that I can uh, ring or contact if I have any problems um, but Boyo, Boyo was the one at the time that I chose because Flerval C didn't have any out on the shelves when I got all my stuff but 
Yeah, it's a quick update. Things are healthy. Clownfish are healthy. They're fat. They won't leave each other alone. Um, and they've definitely got bigger. The colours have got so much better in them. As you can see when they get under that light, they really do shine up. And hopefully my corals will do as well as and when I get a mixture of live rock there. I've moved it about. Um, Copia pods by the hundred. Um, can't really remember what else to mention to you other than yeah, subscribe if you like my video, like it. Ask me your questions. I'm I'm getting good answers from a forum that I use. I can pass you on the forum information. I get discounts on livestock and stuff like that. Um, and yeah, this is my trial and error of my first marine tank, so bear it in mind. I'm keeping up to date with the water changes. That's the most important thing, I think, to get crystal clear water. At the moment, it's a bit murky, and the only reason why it is murky is because I have had nothing move in my sand other than myself, and I do a little bit at a time. Um, and now I've got this goby in. He's working away, and he's just he's just moving off the off the dust, if you like. It it, it was clear. Not too fussed about that. I know it was clear. And he, so he's doing a good job for me. Um, by the look of it, the corals are starting to open up and pulsate a little bit. They are pulsating a little bit. Perhaps they need a little bit more flow. I'm not too sure. I'll see how it goes. But I'm going to leave them there for now. That's the best they've looked in there so far. So, fingers crossed. And I'll keep you updated. Thanks again.